Hello YouTube friends. I'm finishing off the Christmas trees that I've made for the Christmas boxes this year. And you've just seen a little bit of um, the making of these and I've been making these for weeks now. Every time I've got a spare few minutes I'll just sit at the sewing machine and do a little bit more stitching of the trees or stitching on the uh, little star buttons at the top or whatever. And I I'm really pleased with how they've turned out but now I'm doing the final thing packing them into I love to pack things into these little bags that I make uh, and so I've sewn this uh, brown paper together and put the stamp on the front here and now I'm going to pack these trees into here now you may wonder why I've done them upside down and there's a good reason when I put the tree inside here like that it means that the the hanging bits at the top and there's no danger of me sewing it in when I sew it along the bottom. Now when I put these trees in this little uh, bag here I'm also including a little tiny pinch of uh, golden sequins shaped like stars. Now that's just in there to um, maybe irritate you when you open them so remember that that's there but what I thought people might enjoy doing is fishing all the stars out and then um, stitching them onto their tree if they wanted to. I've done that one with this one here. You don't have to do that. It might just be a little bit of starry glitter that you've got in the bottom of your, uh, of your tree bag. So these trees then, I've used lots of different colours of Liberty in kind of um, Christmassy colours, greens and reds. Uh, all these, all my beautiful Liberty um, fabrics here and I've sewn them onto different coloured backs and so we have a felt backing which is uh, either white, pink or green and it's just a look of the draw which one of those you get uh, and uh, the little trunks are all the same brown here. I've loved making these. In fact, I was uh, making them and I made way more than, than I needed. So I've got a few extras, which is good because as I go through these, I'm checking for quality control <laughs> to check that, um, you know, that there's no little um, stitches that I don't like the look of or it's, it's, it's how I want it to be. Now, this is... Um, the first thing then that's going to go in your Christmas box because it's Christmas box time again and I, uh, Anna and I have been planning the contents of this box since last year, since the last box went out and we've got some interesting things coming. Um, we've got uh, a video coming tomorrow, uh, the next day and then the packing video coming after that. So what I would say is that um, the boxes will be on sale on the 30th of October at seven o'clock Greenwich Mean Time. And so right away what I'll say is, Greenwich Mean Time is what time it is for me here. But in your time zone, go onto Google and just check what time seven o'clock Greenwich Mean Time is for you. Seven o'clock in the evening Greenwich Mean Time. Because there was a, quite a lot of confusion last year. People thought it was in the morning and people thought that it was, uh, uh, you know, seven o'clock their time. And so it's really quite um, tricky to uh, get that time zone right for everybody. So do check if you want one of the boxes so that you'll know um, what time these boxes are for sale. So what I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to stitch these into these little bags.
this. This is what I needed yesterday, yeah. <laughs> Teamwork. We did this for hours yesterday with someone just cutting the thing. <laughs> How are you doing? Good, how are you? Very good, thank you. Awesome. So Emma's just arrived and um, I've just initiated her into what we're doing here, stamping the little bags, putting them in a pile there. I'm sewing the finished ones together and then you get the fun of, of checking out mm. each of the trees for quality control and the pinch of glitter. Yeah, fun. <laughs> When I have a production line going like this, especially with help, I am in my happy place. <laughs> yeah, me too. How have you found making these? I've really enjoyed making them. Yeah? Uh, in fact, I'm a little bit sad I've come to the end of them because <laughs> uh, I like I like something that's got a lot of stages. Mm. So first you do this part and then this and then this and then this. And, yeah. the, and when you get near the end and you're sewing the buttons on, and you realise, mm, it's nearly there, just got to put them in their bags. But I've yeah. done all the sewing on the buttons while I've been watching films at night. Mm. And it's been great fun, I've enjoyed it. Oh, that's good. So yeah, I, I, I love a repetitive task. So really you're just checking for any loose threads or anything. And I have scissors here if you need them. Yeah, thank you. And you know, just cut off the odd, yeah, you, you can see exactly what to do. They look so pretty. I love these little bags, you know. Oh, I, I really like packing things in here. They take ages to make, but um, I don't mind. Yeah. That's another thing, a good audio book in your ears. Mm. Uh, hundreds of these little bags to make. What are you listening to? I've just listened my way through the entire Harry Potter series, read by Stephen Fry. You finished? No. I'm, I'm uh, on the um, the last, on the Deathly Hallows. Uh, I was going to say, last time I spoke to you, we were um, on the Half the Prince. Prince. I'm on the Deathly Hallows just now. Yeah, I'm on the Half the Prince now. Are you? Yeah. Are you catching up with me? <laughs> yeah. And then we're going to start again. Well, I've, I've had a few um, podcast ones. series that I've got into and then sort of drifted away and then come back. I found a new podcast I really like. Oh, what's that? Well, it's that Australian guy that I like the YouTube videos of, Bo Miles. Mm. I really like that guy. What's his podcast about? Well, it's about um, the la the one the first one that got me into it was watching the. Um, he did a really cool video. Where a house was being demolished, or buildings being demolished, mm. and he asked if he could go in two or three days before and take out all the usable wood. Mm. And because uh, there was mass, they were just going to junk the whole thing. Yeah. And there's masses of usable wood, mm. and uh, and then he did the podcast talking with the guy who helped him. Father. And that got me into listening to the, the first one, and then he was talking to his sister, and he was uh, doing... Um, it's good. It's good fun. Yeah. I like the people that you follow on YouTube. I do so follow some weird people. All sorts of strange people. Yeah. Yeah. She'd be like, oh, I'm really enjoying this Indonesian woman who makes her own noodles. That's true, actually. Yeah, I've been watching that lately. <laughs> woman who makes... Um, Exactly or, that. Or like, a, wasn't there like a family in Uzbekistan or something? Yeah, I watch them every time. Yeah. <laughs> and then... No, he, um, not Uzbekistan. Uh, Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. <laughs> well, I'm one of, the, one of those places. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. I've caught up with you, Anna. I know, I'm sorry. I'm doing the quality control. So I, I know, and I think it. you're doing a really good job. <laughs> I'm really pleased that you're doing a careful job. I'm not rushing you. Good. So the colour... Oh, nearly forgot the pinch. Nearly forgot the pinch. The colour theme, you have a colour theme every year for the boxes, and this year the colour theme is pink and gold. Mm, it's my favourite one so far. Yes, I liked the green and gold last year. Yeah. Yeah, I really, really like that. It was beautiful. But we've got pink and gold, which is why all the ribbons on these are pink. 
yeah. and the gold stars. And all the pink thread. And the, and so I've sewn the bags together with pink thread, which is why we've got all this pink going on. So there's a lot of pink, which makes me very happy mm. indeed. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to packing these boxes in there. Yeah, me too. Mm. In July, hmm. we're not going to be able to hang them on a Christmas tree or anything. No, but do you no. Think, do you think we should go and just hang them on a tree outside or something? Well, we have to try them out on a tree, don't yeah, you think? I think so. A, a tree in full green leaf. Yeah, that would be nice. We could find the most Christmassy <laughs> Christmas tree okay. in your garden. Oh, it's good to see a box of finished things, isn't it? Mm. So we've got some interesting things coming in the next few days. Uh, uh, I won't tell you about that one, but um, <laughs> we're going to be packing the Christmas cards. Anna and I have taken some beautiful images, I think, for the Christmas cards this year. Mm, they're nice, aren't they? And so um, we'll be doing those in the next few days. Um, so uh, I can't really tell you too much. I think it will be just interesting to... Oh, I think this is a, a, the time to put your notifications on because these videos are going to be appearing out of the usual Sunday evening. Yes. So that's a good idea, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Because for you guys, it is Thursday the 27th of October. It is. But for I mean, us, it is <laughs> Monday the, the what of the July? The something of July. <laughs> End of July. It's the end of July. Is, is, does it become... 25th of July? Something like that. Mm. I never remember the date. Well, it's a, I turn it over every day, so I see. Yeah. 25th of July 25th. for Anna and I. Mm. And the what of... of, of uh, what is it for these guys today? 27th of October. 27th of October for you, but you know that. <laughs> You're watching this. <laughs> So we could do some of the frequently asked questions, couldn't we? Have you have you, have you chatted about that already? Mm -hmm. You have. Time zones. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we've covered time zones. So <laughs> Anna's just asking if I've mentioned time zones and how to find out what time seven o'clock in the evening Greenwich Mean Time is. And we've talked about that, Anna. Good. Yeah. We're, we're all on board with that now. <laughs> It did cause some confusion last year, didn't it? Yeah, well, it's a confusing thing, isn't it? And I guess while I'm waiting for Anna to um, put the sprinkles of glitter in and the trees, the other thing to note about the boxes is that they are shipped worldwide, free tracked shipping all over the world. And that's another question that people often ask us is, oh, I'd like to buy a box, but the shipping will be too expensive. We deal with all that shipping for you. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, and then they're tracked as well so that you'll be able to um, to watch your box coming um, from this little kitchen here to your house yeah and if, if you if you're super keen to get a box I, I would say on Sunday, set your alarm and go straight to the shop. Have you mm. said this already? No, don't watch the video on Sunday. Yeah, because last year, very oh, yeah. kind people watched the video all the way through and they were like, oh, come on. They went to the shop and, they were and, then, they were all, and then they were very disappointed. So That's actually a very good point, Anna. I'll be on it, 7pm. And so, oh, if, you. um, yes, if you're set on having a box and you want one, then don't watch the packing video until you've secured your box and yeah. then go and watch the packing video. There'll be no new information in the packing video. It'll just no. be a load of fun. Yeah. That's a good point. I'm glad you mentioned that one. Are you still eating your porridge out of your dish and your spoon? Yes. Every morning? Yeah. Me too. Although Johnny's moved the spoon to a new area, so it's away from all the other spoons to keep it like keep safe it pristine. and nice. Well, I was I washed mine up this morning, mm. and I went to put it back in the 
And I thought, I can't put it with the other ones. So I'm still keeping mine really safe and separate. Yeah, yeah, we are. Which is nice, isn't it? Oh, they look so sweet in there. I like them. I like them. Can we have one for our tree? You can. You can in fact, while you're choosing, you can take out the one you want, Anna. Oh, that's good. Very welcome. It's the least I can do. Do you like a production line? Mm, I do. I really do. It's my favourite thing. Yeah. When I was a kid, uh, my one of my first holiday jobs, I worked in uh, Kellogg's, the food, uh, the oh, cereals, really? yeah. Uh, my dad got me the job, mm. I mean, of course he did, uh, because my dad was a f fire officer inspecting all these places for fire safety, mm. so a, a massive great big Kellogg's factory, and he said, do you want to have a job for my daughter, would you? Oh, it's terrible, isn't it, the influence he had? <laughs> anyway, I used to love it. I just worked there for one summer, uh -huh. just doing the same repetitive task over and over again. What I was think, a repetitive task? Well, it was... Um, so it, it would be taking six boxes of this from here and putting them in a box here. Mm -hmm. uh, they put me on the putting the free gifts in the... You know how Ooh. sometimes you get a free plastic gift? You ever gift? took in a couple? Well, no, they took me off that when uh, I um, I decided... I took out all the cornflakes and I filled it full of free gifts and put in <laughs> one cornflake. <laughs> and then, obviously, when it went through quality control, it weighed differently... And they didn't tell me off, they just took me off that job. Oh, I was like, no, she's not allowed that. So I would put like six or seven, there were little painting cards one, one, one yeah. time, I remember, little tiny painting cards. And I thought, well, it would be fun if, if this guy yeah. opens it up and gets six of them. Yeah. And then, and then I would do ten and then twenty and I thought, blow it, I'm going to do the free gift is the cornflake. <laughs> <laughs> so I only lasted on that line a day. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Like I said, put your notifications on so that when we post videos out of turn, which we will be doing all week this week for you, then you, will, um, you won't miss the Christmas box videos and you can see the other people who are helping make things in the boxes. Uh, we'll be back at 7 o'clock tomorrow night with uh, another interesting uh, maker. Mm, it's a good one tomorrow. It's a good one tomorrow. That's all we're going to say. <laughs> but it's someone we like very much. Who <laughs> 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 can that be? Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. We're going to be sitting here for the rest of the morning just sewing up these little parcels for you. Bye. Bye now. I've got this absolutely down there. Me too. <laughs> if I could go faster, I would. <laughs> <laughs>